Welcome everyone to this midweek spiritual communion for the Heart of Westmoreland Mission community. Today, for our short service, I am basing a simple form of morning prayer on the Franciscan daily office. During the lockdown, I have managed to obtain a copy of the Franciscan's way of praying. It has been a great benefit to hear and experience the simplicity and the commitment of St Francis to his Lord that comes over in the words of the office. So our prayers will be from St Francis. He is praying with us throughout this service. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Alleluia, Christ is risen. O oh, come, let us worship. Alleluia. The Easter Anthems Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the firstfruits of those who sleep. For since by one man came death, by another has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of the, your Father's sheep, teach us to hear your voice and to follow your command, that all your people may be gathered into one flock to the glory of God the Father. And our short reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 11. Jesus, the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep, that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they 
will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. Thanks be to God. Just a moment of reflection. Jesus was not forced into dying. It would have been possible to avoid it right up to the very last breath. There had been the temptation to do so at intervals throughout his ministry, and even as he hung dying, he was goaded to show his power. It was then, at the moment of greatest weakness, that Jesus actually showed his greatest strength of love. And that is often true for us as well. Weakness feels just like that, without glamour or nobility or anything other than the recognition that we have no strength of ourselves to do any more. Yet it is in living through such times in God's strength that others turn out to be blessed and God's name to be glorified. If only we will trust God at such times, who knows what sheep will be rescued. The Easter anthem, the song of Moses and Miriam. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. I will sing to the Lord, who has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider has been thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. This is my God, whom I will praise the God of my ancestors with whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed, and by your invincible strength you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. A short time of prayer. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. You have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead. Set your mind on the things that are above, and Christ shall give you your light. When Christ our life appears, you will appear with him in glory. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. Alleluia! Christ is risen from the dead. By his death he has trampled down death, and through the grave all life has been set free. A moment of intercession. In our midweek intercession, we are going to offer prayer for all those who have been most profoundly affected by the current COVID-19 pestilence. For all those who have lost their lives in this country and, and around the world. For all those in hospital. For all those who are ministering to them in such stressful and difficult circumstances. Let us remember them all now and their families. Let us pray. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Let us pray for all the recently departed who have lost their lives because of COVID-19 disease. 
We pray for those who minister to them and for the bereaved. Eternal God, grant to your servants and to those who surround them with their prayers your peace beyond understanding. Give them faith, the comfort of your presence and the words to say to one another and to you as they gather in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our voice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. If you should mark what is done amiss, who may abide it? Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Trust in the Lord, for with him there is mercy, for with him there is ample redemption. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In darkness and in light, in trouble and in joy, help us, O God, to trust your love, to seek your purpose, and to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen and some concluding prayers. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemies, Grant us to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.